Good morning, everybody. <laughs> My eyes are puffy. Um, uh, day 146 on the trail. We are headed to Thistle Hill Shelter uh, today. Uh, we only have uh, a 12 mile day and I'll explain why. Um, we met a trail angel back in Massachusetts who was section hiking and she invited us once we got to uh, Hanover, uh, New Hampshire to come stay with her and take a day off trail. And uh, because the hardest part of the trail is coming up, we're, we're gonna take a zero there, but uh, we can't go to meet her until Sunday because she has a class reunion on um, Saturday but she's more than willing to help us out on Sunday. So we're gonna slow it down. We'll, we'll do 12 today and then uh, a short day tomorrow, really short day tomorrow, and then hike into Hanover, get picked up and enjoy some rest and relaxation at a real home and uh, have some hospitality from another hiker. So uh, other than that, my uh, wife and daughter both made it home safe, so that makes me happy and uh, we're, Still waiting to find out whether or not Gail's going to be able to support the hike um, uh, for the next few weeks uh, in, in a, on a regular basis. And Morgan's still willing to come up and help us when we get to resupply. So pretty lucky. Um, hope everybody at home's doing well. Uh, if I don't get rolling, I won't catch the guys. So got to get rolling. Have a great day, everybody. Morning, everybody. We're about a mile in and uh, got to the first stone wall in a while. And I always think to myself you know i uh, looking at this topography we're at the top of a mountain <laughs> who who in their right mind makes this their claim for their prized piece of property i mean <laughs> i guess when all you had to do was build a homestead you took what you could get that wasn't already taken but man <laughs> so here like here's the corner of the property so here's the stone wall and you can see the other half running down the woods just always fascinates me anyways uh nice day out so far uh sunny no wind uh wish there was a breeze because it's, it's almost getting warm again but we're just complainers as hikers about the weather anyway so uh if i get some views which i hope i do i'll share I've gotta keep rolling hey everybody again it's uh day 146 here and uh <clears throat> i wanted to show you the trail this is a stand of hardwoods and uh, Vermont maples. <laughs> and I was expecting to see a sugar bush the way the uh, trees are separated and they're mature, but uh, don't see one here, which is interesting. <clears throat> we have passed a couple on the trail and most of them use the tube system. And I spoke too soon. There's the tubes right up on the hill. So interesting. I made a guess and sure enough, there it was. So. Anyways, we've made some uh, potential decisions for the day. We're, we're gonna do 12 and then we're probably gonna hike into Hanover uh, potentially tomorrow. Stay at the hiker hostel, which we haven't done in a lo very long time. And then go to our trail angel Darlene's place the next day for our, our zero, which um, would be all rest and relaxation. Cause if we hiked in tomorrow, 12 miles probably could be in there by three o'clock and uh, then managed to um, uh, get you know all our chores done and then have the next day off so gotta get rolling okay uh, we've two or three miles into our hike today oops look at that striped caterpillar cool is that um anyways we I've come out to an open, I'll call it a, I don't know, pasture or something. <laughs> Clearing, I guess I'll call it, on top of the mountain. It's pretty cool. Don't see this much. Uh, maybe someone cleared this to build a homestead or, or maybe a, a modern home. I don't see any driveways up here or any access point, but it might be down over the hill. And there's a view of the mountain next door, but... Not really a great one. Anyways, thought I'd share that. We've passed our first sugar bush uh, with the, all the you know, rubber hose between the trees. That was pretty cool. Uh, it was too far away for me to really get any video, but just cool. All right, gotta get rolling. Okay, hike down just a little bit farther and 
came out to what I would consider a field. And you can see we're in between mountains coming off this one. And there's Tom down there hiking down through the field. Pretty cool. All right, got to get rolling. Okay, we're coming up to uh, a bridge crossing and looks like a trail parking lot. And then we've got a, a cattle gate here so that the people's cattle can't get out from when uh, they come down the pretty little stream. The water's clear, very clear. And some cars, one from Mass, one from New York. All right, gotta get rolling. Okay, it's only 10.30 and we're almost halfway to our destination for the day. That's pretty cool. All right, gotta get rolling. Okay, we've gone through uh, several sections of trail today that are in old areas that were probably cleared years ago, but are now overgrown. Looks like the Punson Passage was done as a 2013 uh, Eagle Scout project, which is this part we're on. Um, and it's uh, it's showing its age, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, hopefully the AMC will uh, keep it up. I see some, some new boards have been put in here recently, so. All right, uh, if I get any views, I'll share. Gotta keep rolling. Okay, we're continuing to hike toward our um, destination. You can see a guy coming off the hill over there with his truck. Looks like he's got a nice fifth wheel. Building himself a base camp up there. You can see down here someone's building a new home. And I don't know if you can see down there, but there's a deconstruction of an old barn over there. So pretty cool. Gotta keep rolling. Okay, we just came up an 800 foot climb and we are treated to this view of the mountains. Get a little closer for you. Ski area on that mountain over there. And then way over, now in the background is Killington, 30 some miles away. All right, we are also treated to a bench. <laughs> So that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, Gotta get rolling. Uh, twin uh, stone walls at the top of the mountain here. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of work. Probably made a laneway back in the day. So this would have been a road. Pretty dang cool. Look at that. I don't know who moved those stones though. Oof. There's Gotta a little better picture of that road. Or that, excuse me, that wall just keeps going on and on. Look at the amount of work someone, or many people, put into that. Probably cleaning that property behind it of stone. Amazing. All right. Got to keep rolling. Well, we're still hiking toward our destination today. But uh, we keep coming out to these cool open spaces and want to share. Uh, it's not common for us to hike out in the open uh, on the trail and somebody obviously put a lot of effort into mowing the grass down here because this is not <laughs> this is not tillable land and somebody put a lot of time in so thank you. I don't know who did that but um, a, lot of, a lot of ups and downs today. It's made it tough. Um, the heat is back up in the 80s, uh, and it's been a while since it's been that for us, which probably is great for people on vacation, but not good if you're climbing 1,200 foot at a time. <laughs> so, but uh, we can't be selfish about that. So, anyways, I uh, thought I'd share the views of this part of the hike because it's different. Um, if I get anything else I'll share, I'm going to get rolling.